Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back at Old Man in the Land of Grills. What is that? Folks, this is really cool. I, I hope you're gonna enjoy this. This is from the 1960s. So mid, mid to early 1960s. It was made by, ever hear of Tonka Trucks? Remember those trucks we played with as kids? I think they still make them. Made in Mound, Minnesota. They made grills like this in the 1960s. And I happen to have one. Uh, this, I did a restoration on it, not very detailed, but I uh, did uh, do some things to make it shine a little bit more. And uh, if you're asking, does the rotisserie work? You have to keep on watching, but I tore that apart. Do you, you, you want to see that? That's pretty cool. And then it even came in with, uh, look, look at that, some uh, old utensils. Th this thing is, this thing's never been used. And you're, you're wondering what this is at the top? They, they call that a little oven. You've got a, your, your made in the USA thermometer there, and then you open this up. It's a piece of history right here, folks. And then uh, you got an oven, you got a daisy wheel up there that controls the, the temp of your oven or heating box, whatever you want to call that. I'll tell you what, folks, this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Keep on watching and you'll see how I tore this apart and did a, a, basically just a general cleaning. Okay, folks, there's the uh, Taco Fire Bowl in its uh, disassembled state. They've taken pretty much all of it apart. Um, I can show you this already. Uh, here's the uh, parts list. Uh, no date on there, though. I was kind of hoping that something would be dated here. I, you know, I, I think this is from the 60s. Uh, I'm not really sure which year in the 60s. I, I, I would, I'm thinking from the stuff I've seen online from... 60 to 65 maybe but anyway it's 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 really kind of cool and you know i've kind of just decided here just to clean it up real good and um when i get more information on it i may decide to uh tr attempt to refinish uh, the fire bowl itself uh it's it's in i mean really decent shape uh the bottom leg brace has got some surface rust on it and obviously some surface rust in the bowl and uh there's a the leg and there's that uh there's that cool oven that it has up on top and uh, look at how the thermostat operates. That's that's old school right there, folks. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, you're looking at the rotisserie. Uh, hang on, let me, uh, let me get that out and plug that in. All right, here's the rotisserie motor. Uh, swing out spit motor. Try it, and I think it's because it's just got brackets on one side and it swings out Tonka ink, my own Minnesota folks. So at first I thought maybe this um, that this cord was uh, an add-on that someone replaced, but the, when I started looking online, um, it, uh, it 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 appears that this is kind of original here. Now there's no on and off switch, so let's just uh, the guy told me that he had uh, had it running a couple years ago. Uh, that doesn't uh, <laughs> sound the best, but it's turning. And we will take that apart and take a look at the inside. All right, just two quarter inch screws and we're in. And look at this, man. What, what, talk about a blast from the past. I bet Breville Products out of New York, New York, uh, isn't uh, around anymore. And look at that, it's all Metal Gear. So just uh, I just did a couple little shots of uh, WD-40 in there. And let's, uh, let's plug her in now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Runs like a top. <laughs> Don't make them like that anymore, do they? All right, so I took the hood apart next, and I might regret that because that uh, came apart uh, <laughs> not very easily. Lots and lots and lots of little screws. And look at those elongated holes in there. And they're all the same. And that was like grabbing onto the screws. And that's, that's the oven or the warming shelf that's in there. And here's the, the bottom of the top, a little bit of surface rust, not bad. Uh, here's the top of the top. And then there's the aluminum backing, which I don't know what I'll do with this. I'm gonna just clean it up real lightly. It's got a lot of, as uh, the people who collect antiques would say, patina on it. And then uh, obviously there's that old uh, 
temp gate uh, that says made in the USA. Uh, we'll just uh, keep on going and take you along for the trip with me. All right, so cleaning up the legs and uh, here's one I haven't done yet. And, and here's one that I have and I'm getting them nice and shiny and I'm not using any power tools. I'm just going by hand here. I'm using uh, some of the mother's mag and aluminum polish, put it on there and then just an old shirt and just buffing them up as best that I can. And, uh, you know, I guess I could put a buffing wheel on the drill press and run these through and uh, getting them, get them look a little bit better. But I, I think it looks pretty good just the way it is. All right, so I am going to use some power tools. Uh, this is the actual piece uh, that's, uh, I showed you the oven section, and that's where the vent is to let heat up into there. Uh, but uh, I put a bunch of mullers on there, and uh, I'm just using my uh, Bauer purpose power shirt. Get it nice and shiny and clean. All right, getting things nice and shiny here. Uh, like I said, I'm using that Muller's uh, Megan aluminum polish on the bare metal stuff. Uh, on the, even these wheels, these are hollow plastic you know, from the 1960s. Clean, I cleaned those up real nice, got, them, got the white wall looking good. If you're wondering what I'm using on the painted surfaces, if you watch my channel before, people always ask, what's the major, what's, what's the magic potion you use to keep your grills clean, Tom? Well, there it is, gel gloss. I've been using this stuff for years. And uh, you're saying, where can you get it? Uh, I, I know Ace Hardware sells them. If you're in the Midwest, there's a hardware store chain called Menards. Menards has them. I've seen this before at Home Depot, but it wasn't in the cleaning supplies. It was back by flooring. I mean, a really weird spot. So I'm not sure if they still have it anymore. But uh, this does the trick, folks. There's a temperature gauge made in the USA. Look at that. There's your old spring temperature gauge there. That is, uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, so here's one of the, one of the uh, heavy duty uh, daisy wheels, <laughs> just aluminum. Here's the handle for the uh, oven door. That cleaned up real nice. Uh, these ends, now this is the grill handle itself and you can see these ends. And I'm really not sure how to expand that, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of silicone, clear silicone, put a couple dabs on each side and press that back and let the silicone set. And that should lock that in pretty nice. But uh, these things are cleaning up like, like they're brand new. Pretty cool. All right, so the sheet aluminum back uh, that's on there, all, all I'm doing is uh, gel gloss and uh, the, the Bauer buffer here. Folks, if, if you want to see a review on this Tom Horseman at YouTube, this thing is, uh, this is perfect for me. I mean, for small buffing jobs, and you can put a fair amount of weight on there. And uh, it's, it's definitely doing making my job a lot easier, especially on something as big as this. All right, there it is, uh, <laughs> all cleaned up. The Taka Fireball, the grill grate, the original grill grate, you can tell it's never been used. Handles, I did uh, silicone those back on. I'm just gonna let those sit for an hour or two before I uh, uh, touch them, let them dry. The top, there's the back. Uh, there's the two daisy wheels. There's a, <laughs> there's a bucket of, of uh, you know, bolts and uh, square ones too. Uh, that's another way of uh, dating this thing. Uh, so and now the challenge is gonna be put it back together. This thing didn't come apart very easily. So I'm amazed, I'll be, uh, <laughs> you, you, you'll, you'll be hearing some noises out of, out, of, out of the old workshop here, folks, as I put it back together. Everything's flathead too. So uh, keep on watching, give you a couple look-sees as I uh, reassemble. All right, let's get her back together here. And, oh, in the land of grills. That's just a magnet, folks. Don't go crazy. But uh, get got the uh, handle back on there nice and cleaned up. That's where the little oven is. And there's our temp gauge. It shows you <laughs> the temp in the oven. Here's our fancy uh, daisy wheels. And uh, you can see how those work. There's the actual oven itself. And it has a daisy wheel, too. Apparently, it lets, that's how you control how much heat goes up uh, from your uh, charcoal. Started putting the back back on. That makes sense. And uh, like I said, we were talking before about the square bolts, square nuts, and uh, square bolts, I'm sorry. <laughs> that would be something. The square nuts and uh, just the standard, standard slotted screws. So keep on going here. All right, making some progress here. Um, a lot of little screws and square nuts. Uh, 
but it's it's all coming together. Got their uh, got the oven all set up. A little piece of spring steel up there that they have to hold that uh, to hold this in. I just had to adjust it a little bit, but uh, it's just like it was new. All right, so to control the height of your grill, they had this uh, lever type device uh, that mounts in the bowl in those four holes right there. And then you just had a, a screw here to raise them up and lower it down. Super simple. <laughs> Looks kind of strange sitting there with just one leg on, but uh, you can see the handles cleaned up really, really nice. Um, making some good progress. All right, got the legs all on. Uh, I'm gonna stand her up. Uh, right now, there's just one screw that, uh, I don't know if I'm, if there were, I don't know, I, I lost one. So this back screw here, I, I, I don't know, I don't have it. So, um, you know, that's the only non-original screw to this whole thing. And uh, I, I'm not sure what goes in that hole right there. So there's <laughs> a couple unexplained holes. It's on the other side too. So this must probably for something else, uh, they probably made the legs generic for all their girls, if, if I were to guess. <laughs> Look at that. All together, isn't that cool? I, I, you know, I, we cleaned it up just enough not to really affect anything here. Um, rotisserie's working. Tonka Fire Bowl, full, folks. Uh, I tell you what, what a great addition uh, <laughs> to the Land of Grills. Thanks for playing along, thanks for watching. And, and as always, folks, uh, you know, if you know anything more about history, about these grills, please feel free to pass them along. And as always, thumbs up, leave a comment. Thanks for watching, really do appreciate it.